All right, guys. So today we're going to go over um, Richard Dennis. Yeah, yeah Richard Dennis uh, turned 400 bucks into 200 million. One of the, I think he's in the market wizards. I'm pretty sure he is. Um, I've just read so many market wizards. I met the regular market wizards, the new market wizards, the unknown market wizards, the hedge fund market wizards, the little book of market wizards. I've read them all. I've all of them. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going down the list of uh the short bears, Substack, uh, Excellency Vaults. You know, I wanna I wanna look at what he's looking at, and whatever research he's doing. It's this is not just a summary for fun. You know, he's digging deep and studying the greats. So you gotta study the greats. You know, so um, yeah. So so this is the third one I'm doing. I think I did Michael Marcus, and I did uh I'll tell you right now. Michael Marcus and, and Ed Sakota. So now we got Richard Dennis. And I'm doing it in no particular order. I, actually, the particular order is the ones that stand out to me, the ones I recognize I'm going to do first. Uh, but, like, it's it's a pretty heavy-hitting heavy, heavy hitting list. Um, so, yeah, I want to do that. Uh, a couple of announcements. Yeah, September 16th. This is going to be a big event, uh, the Friendly Bear Podcast Conference. Um, yeah, we're going to have uh, – Saturday, September 16th is the actual conference from the morning to the evening. Um, and then after the evening, we're going to do a like a gathering um, with Sam Degash. Sam Degash is going to be there. And so he's going to be there for the gathering. But then Friday night, a meet and greet. Friday after the close, you can hang out and talk stocks and give a tour of my office and and a lot of stuff and go hang out at a rooftop, talk, talk trading. And, um, Sunday, whoever's in town, I'll, I, I hasn't seen the office. We'll, we'll can see the office too, the tour or whatever. And we can talk trading all day. There's multiple places where we can talk trading, but like Saturday is the actual event that I reserved a, a really nice venue. And it's going to be, it's going to be top notch. So, and, um, yeah, it's going to be high quality, and there's a lot of high quality people, um, like-minded people, up-and-coming traders, you know, all levels are going to be there. And this is like a, you know, how to network with like high quality people that want to improve not only trading, but all aspects of their life. And they're on the same mission um, as you for success and uh and trading so i want to meet everybody and i'm excited for that and i'm going to be announcing it um whenever uh, on podcast you know so just keep it uh, the reminder going because um yeah and it, it it's gonna sell out so like once the tickets become available you should get the tickets you know so it's gonna sell out and, I'll, and um yeah so make sure you pay attention and, and there's a nice website that's coming up and it's being built right now as we speak, and it's like it looks sick. I, I I'm excited for it. I'm stoked. Um, another thing, the podcast. There's gonna there's a membership section now, and um, right now a lot of the stuff, uh, trade reviews and bear talks are for like all the members on the subscription, but um, the paid subscription, it's very small. It's like five bucks or something like that. But uh, pretty soon I'm going to organize them all into different tiers. And there's going to be like three or four tiers. So take advantage now while, while it's like available. The, the price is going to jump, you know. Um, and, yeah, I got a lot of other podcasts coming up. Uh, topics that I want to cover that I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, with my mobile setup. I like to go on rooftops and stuff and do, do uh, you know, podcasts like that. So stay tuned. And some of the old podcasts, I'm gonna start making them private. So like, take advantage of you know what's what what's out there. You know, so, so the podcast, if you see the beginning of the podcast, you see like my whole journey pretty much from like, you know, so from like a intermediate or beginner trader to like pretty pretty advanced. You know what I mean? So you gotta see it. It's all there. Who wants to see it? And it, because pretty soon it's gonna be for subscriber only and like higher tier subscribers. So it's like, yeah, that weeds out the people that kind of funnels the hardcore people in my direction. That's what I like. I like that. So, um, all right, let's get to Richard Dennis. 
Um, Richard Dent. Okay, I'm just going to go straight and read it like the other ones. And what I'm doing, so if I'm doing this, you guys got to probably do it too. So if I'm working harder than you and you have it, you're not profitable or you're just barely profitable, that's not good. You need to work harder than me. And, you know, so I'm I'm listening to this stuff on audio when I go walk to, gro uh, to go get groceries. I go to the grocery store like once every day after the close. I get like one or two steaks. And, you know, I'm not going to, I don't, you know, I like to do that for like my walking. I'll go like it's like a 20 minute walk, 20 minute walk. And I'll listen to the audio again. And I like to hear myself, man. You know what I mean? Like talking about Richard Dennis. And so if I'm listening to it two or three times, you know, that's how I do it with all podcasts and audio books. And like, I just flip it back and forth and I stay updated with all my favorite podcasts. But with this specifically, when I make this podcast, I'm listening to it twice, you know, and it's fun to listen to. It's not pulling teeth. You know, I've, I've, um, organize all my routine with trading where it's not like pulling teeth you know what i mean for most people it's things it's it's pulling teeth to do anything you know i, I they, they, like nobody watches the podcast it's pulling teeth i've made things so easy for me to do so it's like what makes you more efficient to get things done and to like increase your learning and things you got to organize your life to do that so anyway richard dennis okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and start Richard Dennis turning 400 bucks into 200 million by the short bear. That's a nice photo of him here. Today we will talk about Richard Dennis, a trader that influenced me in a major way through his performance when I started my career in trading as a young man a decade ago. The exploit. Richard Dennis, a renowned commodity trader, made his mark in the trading world with his extraordinary ex exploits. Beginning in the 1970s with a modest 400 bucks from his family, Dennis ventured into commodity trading and demonstrated exceptional skill and, ad and adaptability. He transformed his initial stake into a staggering fortune estimated to be around $200 million. Dennis's success is attributed to his ability to weather tough times and resilience and main with resilience and maintain confidence in his, tra in his trading strategy. Dennis is widely regarded as one of the trading legends of his time, with his peers acknowledging his unmatched expertise. Early days. Born in Chicago in January 1949, Richard J. Dennis, also known as the Prince of the Pit, rose to prominence as a commodity speculator. His remarkable journey began as an order runner on the trading floor of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange at the young age of 17. In a few years, he ventured into trading for, for his own account at the Mid-America Commodity Exchange, where he cleverly worked as his own runner to bypass the age requirement of being 21. Dennis pursued a degree in philosophy from DePaul University and even received a scholarship for graduate study at Tulane University. However, his passion for trading ultimately grew, drew him back into the world of finance. With a modest loan of 1600 from his family, he purchased a seat at Mid-America Commodity Exchange, leaving him with $400 as his initial trading capital. Through astute decision-making and a keen understanding of the market, Dennis steadily grew his capital. By 1970, he had multiplied his funds to 3000 a significant leap from his near meager beginnings. His capital continued to soar, reaching over 100000 by 1973. Notably, Dennis achieved a profit of 500000 through the soybean trading in 1974, catapulting him to millionaire status before he turned 26. Major Achievements Richard Dennis, widely known as the Prince of the Pit, made a staggering $80 million in 1986, contributing to his overall fortune of $200 million. His success put him in the same league as billionaire hedge fund manager George Soros and junk bond junk bond king Michael Milken. Despite facing significant volatility and enduring losses of up to $10 million in a single day, Dennis distinguished himself as a trader who held on to positions for extended periods, riding out market fluctuations. While he suffered a major setback between 1987 and 1988, losing over 50% of his managed assets, his story goes beyond the end of his trading career. Dennis imparted his trading knowledge to a select group of individuals known as the Turtles, who continue to thrive in the industry. 
by becoming Dennis's money-making methods with effective rich risk management port protocols, traders can better control losses. The approach. Richard Dennis primarily traded commodities, including soybeans and corn, during his successful career as a trader. His trading strategies were centered around trend-following systems rather than attempting to predict market direction. Dennis believed in ca capitalizing on existing trends. He would buy when prices increased above recent ranges and sell when they fell below those ranges. You have to minimize your losses and try to preserve capital for those very few instances where you can make a lot in a short period of time. What you can't afford to do is throw away your capital on suboptimal trades. This simple yet effective approach allowed him to capture significant market moves. Dennis emphasized the importance of minimizing losses and preserving capital, advocating for cutting position sizes during losing periods. He also employed pyramiding techniques, gradually increasing position sizes during profitable trades. By holding positions for longer periods, Dennis aimed to write out short-term fluctuations and benefit from sustained price trends. I learned to avoid to catch up or double up to recoup losses. I also learned that a certain amount of loss will affect your judgment, so you have to put some time between that loss and the next trade. Let me repeat that again. I learned to avoid to catch up to double up to recoup losses. I also learned that a certain amount of loss will affect your judgment, so you have to put some time between that loss and the next trade. There you go from, the, from one of the greats. All right, so his success in commodities trading and his ability to teach his strategies to others cemented his status as a trading legend. Perhaps one of the best sources of information on the assets he traded and strategies he implemented comes from the Turtles, the group of traders he trained. These individuals report having traded bonds, number one, bonds, 10 and 30 year U.S. Treasury, Treasury bond and 90 day U.S. Treasury bills. Commodities, coffee, cocoa, sugar, cotton, crude oil, heating oil, and unleaded gas. Currencies, euro, U.S. dollar, Swiss franc, British pound, and Japanese yen and Canadian dollar. Precious metals, gold, silver, and copper. Index futures, S&P 500. Dow Jones. The Turtle Traders. By the way, there's a really good uh, audio book on that and book, regular book. I, I recommend that. That's, that's a must read for everybody. Okay, turtle, the Turtle Traders. We are going to grow traders just like they grow turtles in Singapore. Richard Dennis. This simple phrase started one of the most influential trader training project ever. Richard Dennis, recognizing the potential to teach successful trading methods upon a disagreement with his partner, recruited and trained 23 individuals selected from about 1,000 applicants known as the Turtle Traders. In two separate groups formed in December 1983 and December 1984, Dennis trained a total of 21 men and two women. Over a two-week period, he imparted a simple trend-following system to the traders, teaching them to trade a range of commodities, currencies, and bond markets. The strategy involved buying when prices rose above a certain recent ranges and selling when they fell below those ranges. Additionally, the turtles were instructed to cut position sizes during losing periods and aggressively pyramid their positions during profitable trades, which with up to a third or half of total exposure being allocated. While the system generated losses during those range-bound market conditions, it yielded profits during significant market moves. I always say that you could publish trading rules in a newspaper and no one will follow them. The key is consistency and discipline. Almost anybody can make up a list of rules that are 80% as good as what we taught people. What they couldn't do is give them the confidence to stick to those rules, even when the things are going bad. Wow. So, like, I got this podcast for, like, I don't know, 350 podcast episodes and a bunch of other clips and stuff. And it's everywhere. It's on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, God knows, Stitcher, I don't know, 50 outlets. And uh, I even didn't show my trading from last year, like a freaking almost a full year trade reviews. And, um, yeah, you can give it to people. They're not going to take it. You can even publish it in the newspaper. They're still not going to take it. <laughs> and look, at Richard Dennis says it himself. Um, Dennis believed that the Turtles – 
could successfully apply his trend following system beyond its specific markets he traded, expanding their ability to take advantage of profitable opportunities. The training aimed to instill discipline, risk management, and consistent trading approach among the turtles. This group of traders under De Dennis's guidance effectively demonstrated that successful trading could be taught, challenging the notion that trading skills were exclusively innate. The turtle traders, armed with Dennis's strategies, went on to achieve notable success in their own right, further validating the effectiveness of his trend-following approach. The traders were each given $500,000 to $2 million account. According to Russell Sands, a former turtle, the group went to earn profits of $175 million in four years or an 80% compounded rate of return. Many turtles went on to create their own path within the financial world. Jerry Parker, for example, created Cheese of Beat Capital, uh, raising a peak of $2.5 billion with a B. The turtle experiment remains an influential case study in trading education as an and has inspired aspiring traders around the world to adopt similar methodologies. More about turtle traders from my friends at Financial Wisdom. Okay, 10 key lessons. Number one, don't be tied to history. While historical data can provide valuable insights, it's important not to rely solely on past performances when making investment decisions. Instead of rigidly defining market behavior based on historical patterns, it's better to focus on recognizing trends and their potential continued reversal. Oh, look at this. I forgot to do this. Okay. Uh, okay. Number two, trend following systems. Successful invents, investors often employ trend following systems that keep them in the market until evidence of a trend reversal. Such systems can help capture significant market moves, order size, and trading success. As an investor, as an investor's order size increases, it can become challenging to execute successful trades. Diversification and employing different strategies can help manage larger amounts of capital effectively. Knowing when you are wrong, it's essential to have predefined exit points and risk management strategies. If a trade starts showing a loss or fails to perform, as expected over time, it's important to acknowledge the mistake and exit the position. Common behavior among, among markets. Successful investors find similarities in patterns across different markets. If a trading system doesn't work for multiple markets, it may not be considered reliable. Program trading and market behavior. Program trading should not be seen as a scapegoat for market declines. It may cause short-term market movements, but doesn't impact long-term trends. False breakouts and increased computerized trend following can lead to challenges and reduce effectiveness of traditional trend following systems. Number seven, dealing with losing streaks. When experiencing a losing streak, successful investors cut back their positions and, if necessary, take a break from the markets to regroup and reassess. Number eight, public fallacies about market behavior. The belief that markets are supposed to make sense is a common fallacy. Markets can be influenced by various factors that often exhibit unpredictable behavior. Number nine, emotional detachment in trading. Successful investors strive to make trading decisions based, based on objective analysis rather than emotions. Emotional involve, involvement can be counterproductive to achieving consistent results. Number 10, solutions to challenges. Investors continually adapt to find innovative solutions to overcome market challenges, avoiding the middle ground and being more short-term or long-term long -term oriented can help navigate trends more effectively. Final words. In conclusion, Richard Dennis's remarkable journey as a trader serves as an inspiration for, to all aspiring investors. From his humble beginnings with a small loan to his immense success as a transformation and transformation into a trading legend, Dennis Dennis demonstrated the importance of resilience, adaptability, and, dis and a disciplined approach. His emphasis on trend-following systems, risk management, and recognizing market trends provides valuable lessons for traders. Furthermore, his creation of the turtle traders and their subsequent achievements showcases the power of education and mentorship in, a shaping, in shaping successful traders. As Richard Gen Dennis himself said, once said, we're going to grow traders just like they grow turtles in Singapore. And indeed, his legacy continues to inspire and shape the future generations of traders.
and it has Richard Dennis as number one on the list of compound annual return in years, just 19 years of 120% return. There you have it. Um, all right, stay tuned for more. Uh, I'll have the screen share more on point next time. But the main thing is getting the knowledge out there. You can always, the main thing is you need to listen to this multiple times, you know. So we, we learned about how valuable education is, how valuable mentorship is. Um, you test the, uh, the, the trading system over multiple markets. Uh, you know, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, listen to it again. I'll talk to you guys later.